Now at five, the race to vaccinate. We are ready. We have the supply. Pfizer says it wants emergency approval to put shots in arms of some of the youngest Americans. Tonight, a potential huge step in gaining the advantage in the coronavirus pandemic. It will be at least several weeks before a decision is made regarding the emergency use application. Still, this moment is giving health experts reason to hope better days are ahead. CBS 4's Ted Scout is live tonight in Pinecrest with details. Ted. Carly and Elliot, there really are some encouraging signs out there right now. For example, the CDC reports in Miami-Dade over the past seven days, cases are down by 33% in Broward, down by almost 19%. Add to that the possibility that kids 5 to 11 may be able to get the shot soon. With the FDA considering a Pfizer request to allow vaccination for kids 5 to 11, health experts are seeing that as some very positive news. That's going to have tremendous implications. If we can really get those younger individuals vaccinated um, as well as the rest of us, uh, then we're going to have those levels of uh, vaccine coverage that will really help us be able to get back to more normal types of behavior. Dr. Eileen Marty is an infectious disease expert at Florida International University. She finds that the dose kids would get would be very effective. The studies show very clearly that these children are getting incredibly high quality antibodies and at levels equal or above those uh, that older individuals get. This is all followed by encouraging news that South Florida and the U.S. could be turning a corner on COVID. It's not done with. We still have to take the actions that are necessary to keep going in the right direction. But we are definitely, finally, heading in the right direction. South Florida is seeing great vaccination numbers. In Broward, 81% of eligible residents have at least one shot. In Miami-Dade, that's at 91%, according to figures released by the state on Friday. The positivity rate is 5.5% in Broward and 3.7 in Miami-Dade. With the time goes by and the people getting vaccinated, you know, it's going to, I think it has to come back to normal anytime soon, you know. Many are getting very anxious for the day they can ditch the mask and return to pre-pandemic life. At least we can get back to work and get back to the city, get back everything going again, school going um, back to normal. <laughs> All this, though, comes with a warning. Don't jump the gun. Remember, we jumped the gun back in March, took our masks off a little too soon, uh, started gathering in indoor spaces a little too soon. And the consequence of that was very, very severe. So some encouraging news. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're speaking to a family here in Pinecrest that is extremely excited about the idea that everyone in their family may soon be vaccinated. That includes their youngest daughters. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Pinecrest, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Important information there, Ted. Thank you. Thanks, Ted. I want to boil this down for you right now. The FDA is scheduled to review the Pfizer data on kids 5 to 11 on October 26. The CDC will then consider Pfizer's findings. It's not known how long a decision will take after that. More than 2,200 children were given one third of the dose adults get during the Pfizer trial. The company said it found the vaccine safe and generated a robust antibody response in those children. Remember, you can find a full list of testing sites in South Florida. Florida in the coronavirus section of cbsmiami.com. We also have it for you in our CBS Miami app. You can download, download it at the App Store or the Google Play Store.